Hey guys, HDV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have a couple of things to cover. First off, there's a new Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Dungeon trailer that has just come out earlier this morning on the Japanese YouTube channel. Uh, it's just more of a promotional trailer, but there is some new uh, footage and some new gameplay in that trailer that we're going to be breaking down today. As well as that, there's also another event, Pikachu, that you can obtain, the Sinnoh one, so I'm going to quickly show you how to do that at the end of the video as well. But if you are excited for today's video, please do drop a like down below. It really, really does help out. Let's try and hit 750 likes. Make sure to drop a comment. A about what you're most excited for about the crown tundra and subscribe if you're brand new we do daily pokemon content on this channel with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off we're obviously going to be going over the new trailer that did drop uh last night or early morning either way it's on the japanese um nintendo channel it's already a quarter of a million views as well um so i don't know if they're gonna drop the english one soon um but like i say this is just on the japanese youtube channel it's all over twitter i'll link it in the description down below if you want to watch it as well it's only 30 seconds long um but i think it's more likely to do with the complete edition that is obviously coming soon where you can buy either pokemon sword or shield with both the DLC parts, um, because this also does have some Isle of Armor stuff in it as well. But like I said, there's some new gameplay in there about the Crown Tundra uh, and stuff like that. So that's why I wanted to cover it today for, for, for you guys. So obviously it starts off with the Nintendo Switch icon, nothing new there. And then obviously it pans over to Galar. But obviously we ain't about Galar anymore. We're going downtown to the Crown Tundra. So um, this is where obviously, um, you, I'm guessing you start it. It looks like a train station, um, so I'm guessing that's kind of like where you come out and then you just come down here. And then I'm guessing down here is kind of like that that like little farm bit where they're growing like cabbages or something. I don't even know, um, but I think that's where it leads to. Um, uh, so obviously looks really cool. And then we have some Safiel just rolling around and then we have a roll rain there as well. Really looking forward to shiny hunting these because Safiel has a really, really good shiny form. Um, but obviously we have a wall rain there as well. So obviously I think it was already confirmed that wall rain was in. I mean, we've seen obviously the data mine and stuff, but I think... It's already been seen in the last trailer that Wall Rain is obviously in the game. Because I think Safiel was like jumping up to the trailer uh, trainer or something like that. Um, but we have a bit of water in the background there as well. And then we have Cryogonal and we have a Boltund here. So Boltund is here. What is that up there? That looks like... A, I thought that was a Ternatus for a second, but it's just one of those Dynamax things. Uh, but we have, like, the big tree... Like, well, one big tree up there anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, Bolton is going to be in the Crown Tundra as a wild encounter. But, yeah, Cryogonal is there as well. All very, very snowy and everything like that. Uh, and then we move up to uh, Calyrex. We actually have some Calyrex gameplay here, uh, which is very, very interesting because we haven't really got too much about it. Obviously, we have had zero gameplay about the horses or anything like that we don't even know that they well we know they exist but we've literally had well they, they they're hiding them basically i think it's going to be more of a surprise which is cool i'm glad that we know they exist so we've got something to look forward to but i'm also glad that we have no idea what they look like what types they are or anything like that or even how you fuse them um because it just gives us all something to look forward to when the crown tundra does obviously um does obviously drop um but yeah we have some cali race gameplay here so i think it's just chilling really he's turning around um I, it might be like the first time you see it or something but it kind of just is in like a random location it's not in like a cave or anything he's just chilling in the outside having a good time um and then obviously it just pans to him so i don't know like maybe this is the first time we see calyrex or something but then it seems to be using some sort of attack um with like this this bubble thing i don't know if this is it looks like pokemon camp to me like this is just kind of like that is like Pokemon camp usually has that kind of background and then the Pokemon kind of come up to you like this but I don't know um, but yeah we have some Calyrex gameplay there so that's that uh, it's using some sort of move I don't know if this is a signature move to Calyrex or whatever um, but it looks like it's going to be something uh, something very very interesting so we have that and then we have the Reggie thing here so I, I don't know which Reggie this is supposed to be or if it's just kind of like a stone Reggie or whatever um, but then we actually have some new gameplay of Reggie Lecky and Reggie Drago so we have Reggie Drago here and then we have Reggie Lecky here who looks terrifying my god look at these electrical things things how they go that guy looks horrible man he's so scary he's so terrifying so that's always fun uh, <laughs> and then we have some more gameplay of the legendary birds as well so i believe this is the cutscene of the uh, of the galarian birds so reggie Alecki there and then we have moltres here i think this is where they all start fighting i don't know why they start fighting um I, I, who knows maybe it's something to do with the tree you're obviously here though um watching them all so i don't know if you do something that makes them all like want to kill each other or something but they are all fighting um and then that's 
that. That's all we have for the Crown Tundra, I believe. Then it goes over to the Isle of Armor. It does just go over to the Isle of Armor, so it just has, um, you know, mustard and stuff like that. But like I say, it has some uh, legendary gameplay. Like I say, uh, not loads. Like I said, it's just kind of a promotional video kind of thing. I don't know if I said poster at the start. I don't think I did. Hopefully I didn't. Otherwise, that's going to make me look silly. Um, but yeah, we do have some more legendary gameplay. So like I say, I'll link this in the description down below if you guys do want to check it out. Um, like, it's not loads, but it's just a little bit of extra, extra summon summon. Obviously, the Crown Tundra does drop two weeks today. Um, actually, because it's the 9th today, so 16th next week, and then it is the, well, it's the 23rd, so it drops for me um, two weeks today, but obviously if you're in America, it drops late night on the 22nd because of time zones and stuff like that. A lot of people are still a little bit unsure why America are getting it first. They're not. It's a global release. It's just, it's releasing at the time where it will be late night Thursday in America, and then it'll be early morning for me in um, on the 23rd on Friday, and then obviously for Japan, I think it's gonna be like midday, and for like Australia, I think it's gonna be around midday, because obviously Japan are really, really far out in front um, time zone wise and stuff like that. But anyway, that is that is the trailer. So that was a really nice little thing to to wake up to today. Um, but next up, what I want to do is just go over the Pikachu codes as well, because uh, obviously if you're living under a rock, they're basically giving us like a Pikachu code every uh, week or so, which is really really cool. It's basically like the Ash Hat Pikachu's, and so far we have the original Cat Pikachu, we have the part partner cat pikachu and then we also have the hoenn cat pikachu as well um and then today we're now allowed to get the Sinnoh cat pikachu so if you haven't got the original cat pikachu uh the code is right here this is from nintendo life i'll link them in the description down below uh so yeah the pikachu uh get is for the first code uh for the first pikachu and then the partner cat pikachu is the i choose you um uh, obviously these are zeros not o's uh and then we have for the hoenn cap is pika advance and then for the Sinnoh cap, we have Vault Tackle Pika. So definitely the weirdest looking code right now. Um, but obviously, I'm going to just quickly jump over to the game. As you can see right here, um, I'm in the game. I probably should have already connected to the internet. So let me let me go and do that. Fun fact, I caught myself a Miltank. That was a shiny one. That was a nice little shiny blue Miltank. I know, it was, it was bloody incredible. Um, uh, so obviously, here we are to uh to get it so you go into mystery gift because a lot of people have been asking me how to get it so i'm just going to quickly show you right now because it just makes life easier uh, and then it's get a mystery gift and then it's get with a code or a password um and then the code like i say is vault tackle so bloody weird code that's for sure so we have vault i don't know why it's vault tackle for sino it's a bit weird um and there's another t and then tack is it a one at the end it is uh no it's not it's vault tackle wait vault tackle it's bloody difficult this is pika all right, Pika is right there. Okay, Volt Tackle Pika. So then you click enter, does its magic, binds the bloody code, which is always nice. Always love a code. And then boom, Pikachu Sino Cap Gift. So you click that, receiving your gift, gives you the gift, which is all bloody lovely. It's great. We love it. And then here it is. Bang. These are all marked as well, by the way, um, which is really, really cool. And then we have the Sino Cap Pikachu. So now you should have uh four ash hat pikachus which is really cool i think the next one out is on the 16th i think the next one's on the 16th and then i think there's one on the 18th as well uh but then if you just go into your um box um uh, well these are all the ash hat pikachus that i've got so far so that's the original one then we have the partner well that's the home one then we have the partner one and then the sino one will be um somewhere in my box which i've clearly not done a very good job of um looking through uh, here it is. Here's the Sinnoh Cat Pikachu. So there it is. I'm going to throw back with the rest of the Pikachus. Quick summary check just to make sure it does have that mark, which I'm pretty sure it does. Um, and then it, it is there. So a ribbon that proclaims love for Pokemon. Pikachu, the Pokemon fan. Um, so that is how you get the Ash Hat um, Sinnoh Pikachu. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do consider hitting that like button down below. It really does help out. Make sure to drop a comment. Again, what are you most excited for about the Crown Tundra? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I'm definitely most excited about these legendary raid battles. Going to be very, very cool doing those. They look difficult as well, which I'm all about. I really, really am happy they're going to be difficult. Um, and then, of course, subscribe if you're brand new. Remember, I'm going to be doing a massive um, stream this coming Friday for my birthday. Going to be doing a sleep lock. And then the Friday after, obviously, the Crown Tundra is out. So I'm going to be doing a big stream for that. So plenty of bloody streams. So hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.